I didn't tell you what what I didn't tell you the story time of why I went on to a whole different Hey beautiful, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, hi my name is Alexis Jada and welcome. Today's notification shout out goes to Melissa Martinez. Thank you so much for all your love and support. Te quiero mucho, thank you. It doesn't go unnoticed. If you guys want to be part of the notification squad, all you have to do is just subscribe, like this video, and then comment down below and you can possibly be, be the next video shout out. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a story time. I promised you guys a story time from like two story times ago. And this is going to be about why I label things. It's going to be like a makeup horror client story. And this is just an example of like me just, this is why I label stuff. Okay. And we're going to be playing with some new products that just came in the mail the other day. I showed you guys this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on my Instagram, definitely follow me there and you'll get to see some goodies. If I'm not doing a PR box unboxing on my YouTube channel, I'm going to be showing them on my Instagram. So this is a new ColourPop collection. It's so freaking gorgeous, you guys. Look, I didn't even know I was going to be receiving it. When I seen the packaging, I was just, I was so dramatic. I gasped. I literally, I was like, because <gasps> it just looks so pretty. So I got the Lips Lip Duo. The colors are freaking pretty. I'm obsessed like the colors gorgeous and the packaging beautiful what really got me though was this palette like look how freaking pretty this is Mina okay and then you open it oh that is pretty right up my lane so I was like get yeah, you yeah. that's what we're gonna use so I will link everything that I'm using down below if I don't mention what I'm using like verbally it will be linked down below I promise so with that being said, let's get into the makeup. No, the story time. <laughs> so if you have been doing makeup, you know that some people got some sticky fingers. It happens. And especially if there's like kids around or teenagers, it it happens. But sometimes it gets to the point where it's like, okay, I can't I don't got money to be replacing these items. It's too much. I've mentioned in my pre my previous story time that I hate when people touch my kit like i hate it like it's just a thing of just like be respectful there's no need for you to be touching anything there's no need for it at all it's rude who raised you you don't touch other people's stuff no unless they say hey check this out here you go then okay but you know what maybe some of us are raised different and that's still not okay so i had to do some makeup on two girls it was for their friend's birthday party. They were having a quinceanera and they needed to get their makeup done as soon as possible for affordable. And that was me. Because you guys know back in the day, I charged stupid cheap. Like, and I say stupid cheap because I was pendeja because it cost more money for like the drive, the gas there, the products I was using and the eyelashes that I was using and then only to get paid like $15, $20. It wasn't... But it's because I had people in my life at the time that were telling me, like, you're charging too much, that's too much. And one of them was, you know, like, the ex-friend, ex-BFF, telling me, like, that's too much. Like, I was always lowballing myself because of her, because I really cared strongly about her opinion. So, these two girls booked me. I'm like, alright, cool. I'm excited. I get my kit ready. And I pack, like, the most, because I'm like, okay, these are some young girls. They're going to want to be doing the most on their makeup. Like, I know it. They're going to want full glam, probably some MAC stuff, because I feel like back in the day, MAC was really, really popping. Like, everyone wanted to use a MAC product. You know, the Teddy or the um, Ruby Roo. Everyone was just obsessed with that. I feel like if you didn't have the foundation, you weren't into makeup. It honestly, I feel like, was that. So I made sure to pack, like, all that. I didn't have income coming in like that for me to be spending so much on the kit but i was like you know what i'm investing in myself this is going to work out i'm gonna have that money later like it's gonna be fine i'm gonna be able to raise my my prices later on once i build my clientele like it's gonna work it's gonna work so i have these two girls i pack the kit i'm doing the most with the kit i even go out and get a little bit more extra stuff because i'm like i want my kit to look Ooh, when they look at it and when i can give them options you know so we didn't do a trial 
just, just because it wasn't enough time and the girls were like I don't want to have to pay twice for you to do a look twice I don't want the same thing and so I'm like okay like a trial is so that we can make sure that things go correctly it's a look that you want maybe you might be like oh you know what I don't this isn't something I want so that the day that I do your makeup you don't have any like uh, I don't like it and like upset and you know like not not happy you know so I was like okay we're gonna skip the trial that's okay <laughs> so I go over and it's the two girls and I'm at one of the girls mother's house the mother was really really nice she was cooking she was getting things ready and it was just cool like the vibes were like pretty all right it was cool more primas started coming over and they were getting ready there and i was doing like the girls makeup and stuff super shy like i get like i feel like i'm like those eggs that you need to touch and keep rubbing and keep rubbing and then they finally crack and you're like yeah like i feel like that's me and i was just really quiet but i was very respectful you know still doing her makeup you know and they were just talking away and they were talking about another artist now i hate when people do this because it's really really awkward you know, you don't ever want to tell anyone, like, hey, like, don't talk about them because you don't want to tell someone what they can and cannot talk about. They were talking about another artist at the time, and they were talking about, like, she charged too much and that she really thinks that she can do this and she can do that. That, like, no, she overcharged. I charged her to do my makeup, and I wasn't even, like, happy with it. And then she didn't want to give me a refund. Right there was a red flag, and I was already thinking... Like, okay, they're going to start. Like, they're going to start their crap. And they're going to think, like, okay, since I'm telling the story. Since they're telling me the story, they're going to think, like, oh, like, you already knew how I felt if they didn't want to pay or anything, right? So I was already getting myself prepared and acting like I'm listening, but I'm not listening and I'm just doing my work. So we'll call one of the girls, we'll call one Gatorade and we'll call the other one Tuna. So Gatorade, she was pretty, she was pretty nice. You can tell Gatorade was like more quiet and she was just like, yeah, like that's crazy. Like, I don't know. I just feel bad if like, if I didn't like it and she was doing the makeup, like I still want to. You know, I still would, I, I would still feel bad if I didn't pay the money. Tuna was like, I don't care. It's like going to a fast food restaurant. If you're not satisfied, why should I have to pay? And then just going back and forth, Gatorade. I'm like, okay, like, cool. I like you. Like, I like you. I like the vibe. You're cool. Tuna is like doing the most. And I'm having to, I'm, no, I'm doing her makeup at the time. And I'm having to like keep stopping because she keeps like looking at Tuna like, no, like you don't agree. No, like you don't agree and like they're going back and forth and i'm just like laughing because I, I think it's so funny when someone doesn't agree with your opinion and then you really want to look at them like if making eye contact is gonna like change their mind like if you can mind fuck them to like change their mind you know so she kept doing that to her and i couldn't help but like laugh and so she was like kind of having like, a little attitude and then she's like what do you think alexis and i was like you know what i agree <laughs> i agree maybe i'm biased because this is my job, you know? I was like, did she offer to change anything to like, you know, maybe do a little different, like do any touch-ups or anything like that? And then she's like, no, she didn't want to up-touch anything. I told her like, I'm not happy with this. I don't like how you did this. I guess when she told her like, hey, can you do my makeup? She did her makeup and she wanted a certain look in mind. And I guess she went crazy and she like did whatever she wanted. And so she was like, I wasn't happy and then she was mad that I had like the mirror in my hand the whole time she's like but I didn't want her to mess up and I'm like oh, I can see where that's kind of like oh, it, it is very hard when you're doing someone's makeup and they literally have the mirror like this and they're looking at everything you're doing so you're like you're, they're doing your face and they're like this and they're like okay I had this girl literally every time I laid down a new color like this and she's like wait, wait, wait well it looks like this and I'm like I know like I'm not done yet like I'm gonna I'm still gonna add more and it, I feel you feel like kind of like mean because you feel like you're kind of like um like I know honey like you know and it can just come out very rude oh like everything I did down to like me adding the lashes like no 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 like I, I I'm like oh I know like I still have to pinch um when I put down the primer like no no, no like I feel like like um I need a little bit more here like not here I'm like okay like no 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 no, no. like literally every single little 
thing I did was super hard. So I tend to not let the client sit in front of like the mirror or have a mirror nearby. And if they say like, oh, can I get a mirror? I let them know like, okay, well, um, I'll show you. But, and then I try to explain like, can we just wait till after? And it's just like really hard because I remember that one time I was doing that girl's makeup. It literally took twice as long because we kept stopping like literally we kept stopping and at the time um she came to my house and rudy's grandma uh she was in the kitchen and she was drinking coffee and even she was like oh, I know, I know, I know. and it was just so cute because i'm like you're you're pissing off granny and if she is noticing because i feel like you know older people they got more patience more than anything if you're pissing her off then I know you're pushing it. Cause it was literally every single thing. It was nuts. So anyways, I still booked her again because she paid really good, but it was just like, oh, very, it's very, very exhausting. But anyways, so we were just talking about it. I was like, you know what, I'm biased. I don't know if she didn't offer to pay it. It's, uh, I don't know. I was like, then again, I don't know. I don't like talking about other artists. And then she was like, no, no, no. Like it's going to stay between us. I was like, uh, no, I'm good. And I was like, okay, so, you know, moving on, what kind of, and I tried to just like change the subject and, and she, she kind of caught it, you know, like, oh, okay, whatever. Like you're, I'm being annoying, which she was. So I'm glad she caught on to it. I sound like a raspy bitch. I literally just woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth and came down and sat down with y'all. So you guys know, like, I always like telling you guys what, what, where and why, who, what, where and why I'm barely waking up. So that was, you know, Tuna's personality. She was just kind of like a little bitchy and she, you could just tell she was in that mentality of, she probably seen her mom do some grown shit and, you know, talked a certain way so she probably thought like oh i'm gonna say some grown shit and i'm gonna you know have people listen to me she gave me that kind of vibe where it's like okay you think you're grown no one has checked you yet all right cool and i get a lot of people like that you know a lot of little girls where i do their makeup and stuff and i'm just like you just haven't got your ass beat or like no one has told you how it really is you know and Sometimes they can just be respectful and stuff and then sometimes it just doesn't go the best way So she just kept talking and just being really loud and stuff and I was just doing her makeup and she really liked it She was like, oh my god, like it looks so nice. I'm so glad that I called you I'm so glad that you know, like you're doing it. Oh my god. It looks so nice. Thank you so much So hers I just did a really like intense smoky brown eye because uh, her her eyes were beautiful, they're really really pretty hazel, and so it just it just popped even more. And I noticed that she kept looking over at my kit. She just kept saying like, "Oh my god, like I want to be a makeup artist one day." And you just have so many like nice things. That's so pretty. And she kept getting closer. And I, I, I you know I told her because I'm very respectful, and I even have a little sign where it says, "Please do not touch for sanitary reasons." You know I was just, you know, like hopefully you can read and it won't be and comfortable you know so i was like telling her and stuff like is there something that if you want if, if, if there's something that you want to see let me know and i'll i'll touch i'll grab it for you so that you don't touch you know and then she's like oh no 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 yeah girl i understand and so i noticed that she got like really close to my kit like she scooted her little booty really really close and at this time i'm now doing gatorade's makeup and gatorade was like hecka hyping up too and i'm like oh girl you look so good she really transformed you and then the girl was like i still look the same i'm one of those girls that still look the same with makeup and then uh gatorade's like no like she hella trans and i get it like i know some of you guys can tell me too like oh my god like i didn't even recognize you and i'm just like damn did I color up, uh, did I cover up all the ugly, you know? And um, I, I could tell she was getting a little bit sensitive. She's like, I still, I still look the same, Gatorade. I still look the same. And Gatorade's like, yeah, but you just like, oh my God, like I didn't even recognize you. Like she hella transformed you. And Tuna was like, stop calling me a transformer, bitch. I still look the same. Like it was just so cute. Like, I don't know, it was just, I don't, it was freaking adorable. She's like, Alexis, tell her that I still look the same. And I was like, yeah, she still looks the same. I just didn't, you know, I, enhanced her beauty and then tuna's like it's okay ain't gotta lie kick it you really hooked her up she's like now since we've seen you with makeup you better put makeup on all the like she was just roasting her and i was like damn gator ray because she was just really quiet at first you know so um anyways tuna's really close to my kit to the point where she's like just like like looking it was like in my kit you know what i mean oh this color is really pretty 
and so i have to keep like watching her but at the same time it's kind of weird like i don't want to have to like make it obvious and be like or move my kit where i can see it you know what i mean because i already had like a nice little setup and everything the mom was super polite she set everything up very very nice unlike the other bitch and she was like oh you want something to drink i was like oh no thank you it's okay because i was just being nice you know but look he was like i'm thirsty love you baby what was i saying my daughter interrupted me oh yeah mom was really really nice god i hate when i get like that where i'm like i feel like i really have like a squirrel moment like even when i talk to my mom i get so pissed because i'm gonna do a side note right now uh, when I talk to my mom and we'll be talking about some like good ass cheese man, I'm like, mm hmm, I have to keep her on track because she's just as bad. Where she wants to tell me, like, me and my mom, my mom and my brother, who's in Aries, we literally have to keep like, okay, stay on track. And what did you say? Yeah, but how did that one fit? Like, we, we tell like 20 stories within one, kind of like what I'm doing now. And it's just super hard. So when I talk to my mom, sometimes I'll be like, what, what was I going to say? And she's like, I don't know, Jay. I'm like, were well, you just not listening to me? And she's like, no, I was listening. Yeah, just like, let's think about it. Okay, so you said, and we literally, it's like a freaking mission because we don't remember it. And then I'll hang up and then I'll be talking to someone else randomly or I'll be randomly watching TV and something sparks in. I feel like I have like a raven moment. I'm all, and then I'll call my my mom back. And I'm like, remember what you said? Like, let me just get it out real quick. Remember what, and this was, little, little, this was the point of me telling you this. And like, sometimes my mom laughs. My mom's like, oh my god <laughs> that's what you were gonna say and so it's funny if you can relate let me know so anyway so mom was really nice she was like here like you know she gave me made me a little tea and stuff and she was like tell me like thank you for doing their makeup and stuff and let alone two which is really really sweet and i was like you're welcome like yeah like and she was just telling me like you can go really far in the makeup business. You know, just like be really, really nice, you know? It was so funny. I, was, I always say cute. It's so cute. Because she was like really, really sweet, right? And then this um, Tuna had her brothers and they were acting up and they weren't getting ready. Because remember, this is for a quinceanera. And they weren't getting ready. And the mom, all you see is just like a chancla just flying. And I'm just laughing because she was all sweet and stuff. And like these boys were, they were pushing her. And so she like lost her cool and you just see the chunk like just go whoosh, whoosh. she was just cute i liked her especially because with what's going to happen next so tuna is just really up close looking at everything that i have in there like oh that's so cool that you have that like i wish i wish i had that and it just reminded me of like that meme where the little boy this thing keeps coming undone and the little boy was like i like hot cheetos and it's like mm-hmm good good i'm glad yeah i'm glad just like for everything like oh i wish i wish i had that but yeah you know instead i had to pay i had to pay you to do my makeup and i know sometimes i can get a little like i'll hit you back with this i'm like mm. i was like you didn't have to you could have just got it yourself and you could have practiced and then gatorade's like mm -hmm, you really could you really could we could have saved money you know like 15 20 dollars you know what i mean tina was like yeah i know I know I could with a little attitude because I feel like when you're a little mucosa and stuff, you get mad when people tell you like, you know, they let you know and stuff like stop being a little stinker pretty much. I noticed that she's like getting really close and then you can hear when someone's run, like putting their hands or something, right? Like, like that, right? So she thought she was being slick and she had grabbed one of the brushes I was using and she was going to touch. What the hell? What's in my kit? And right away, I already knew. I was like, okay, so she's on some smart Alec shit. Because if I tell her, like, please don't touch it, I'm not touching. Right? I already knew in my head. But I was like, hmm, just for shits and giggles, I'm going to tell her something. I was like, can you please not touch? Please, Tuna. If there's something that you want to see or add to your makeup, let me know. And then, uh, of course, I was right. She, I'm not touching. I'm not touching. I'm just using the back of the brush and I, I'm just trying to look <laughs> and I was just like oh my god and you guys some of you guys can you know be like Alexis you're being anal stop but it's just it's the whole fact of like don't touch I told you not to touch don't be a smart ass and go around what I'm saying it ain't cute quit I like it don't do it you know get ready to take it stop just like don't touch anything like god you're so embarrassing and then tuna it was so funny because i was like i was noticing like the more makeup i was putting on uh gatorade she was getting a little like little feisty you know i was like damn okay 
okay it was just so funny because it, it was just like she's just really quiet and then i think it's because like she was warming up to me as well and she i kind of made her feel comfortable you know what i mean so tina gets mad and she's like i'm not even doing anything and she's like i just want to look at makeup she's like just like when you go into stores and you look at stuff what it's like the same thing she has a little store why can't i look and i was like because for the store I don't have samples out for you just to swatch and everything and I gotta keep it sanitary because someone can get an eye sty or eye infection, pink eye, I don't know. I was like, um, just from like me just watching you, you already, you know, you were touching your feet, you were touching your, like she kept going like this, I was like, you were scratching your ass. But she was going like this and she was like moving like you could tell she was you know when someone's like trying to fix their tanga You know what I mean? Because they really go in there. She was doing all that and then she was just um, Laughing and stuff. She was all damn. I didn't even know you were you know watching me all like that. I was like, yeah I see everything, you know, like just joking around with her but in reality like I ain't fucking joking like I'm really watching you because You probably got sticky fingers, you know, it sucks when you had to go restroom right so i was like okay oh my gosh because mom was giving me something to drink and i really liked it and i was like oh this is really good this is delicious mighty tricious you know and i was like oh my god like, damn and so i was doing like um like moving just like weird and stuff because i was like oh like oh this is just it's like this tea is like running through me and like oh my god so i'm like doing her makeup and i'm like i don't want to leave my kit and I would usually have my brothers there. Remember I told you that like, I would take my brothers and stuff? But they were getting at that stage where they're, well, they're still at that stage where they're very selfish and they didn't want to come and tag along because they didn't want to sit there while I do someone's makeup. Even though they knew that like, you know, shit can go sideways, very selfish. So I was like, fuck, like I don't want to make it obvious and I don't want to have to leave and be like, don't touch, you know what I mean? So one of their primas shows up and she has like some of their dresses. So I was like, oh, perfect timing because she needed both of them. And I was doing her makeup and she was like, hey, Chuna, Gatorade, Ben, I need to see if this fits you because if it doesn't, I need to go back real quick. And so I was like, damn, that's my cue. As they're going to do that, I run to the restroom real quick. I go to the restroom and I come back out and Tuna and Gatorade are sitting there and I'm like, oh, like how long did I take? You know what I mean? And so right away, the first thing this little girl says is uh too much i didn't touch anything i was like okay and gatorade she's like i didn't touch anything tuna uh gatorade's like oh i did i wanted to see um that blending brush because i just wanted to blend out a little bit right here i was like okay that's fine that's fine and so <laughs> we continue i continue to do their makeup and they continue to like tell me little stories and stuff they tell me what school they went to and it was just like you know just casual talking I was like, okay. So they go to this school. They don't like this girl. This girl, I guess, is over here sleeping with this girl's boy, this girl's boyfriend, and just tell me a bunch of cheese man, you know. And I'm just listening, and they keep asking me like, what, what do you think? What do you think? And they're just telling me a lot. And like I've always said, just, I don't know. People could tell you a lot by just talking, and you just, you just listen, you know. So I was just listening. I was like, okay, like go off. Let me know what the freaking little susy eyes of what they're doing like oh my god that's so crazy at the same time i'm not like you know asking any questions or anything like that because they're just talking and they're just letting me know and so i noticed that tuna again is and so with the, the way that we had set things up the kit was like behind me because there wasn't enough room like this apartment wasn't enough room and stuff and i couldn't have it close to me because it was just like in the way i just i could have made it work but i was I didn't think like okay like you have to you know like put it right in front of you uh, there's a lot of things i do differently now a lot of things i do differently now so she kept doing that and then i turned my back and then as i'm turning my back tuna's mom walks in and she's like what are you doing she's like don't be doing that don't be touching what's not yours i'm embarrassed like stop don't be touching what's not yours um go sit over there go sit on the couch she's like hi mom like why are you so embarrassing you know and i love that i love when parents can see that their kids are like you know being little like buttheads i hate those parents that just stay quiet and like don't say anything like it's so awkward like dude like check your kid you know and so she checked her and i was like you know looking at her and i just smiled and i gave her that smile and like let her know with my eyes like thank you like she was being a little pain in my eyes but thank you i appreciate that you know so 
the little girl was like, Mom, she was like, if you're going to be touching her, don't be touching her stuff. Like, that's her stuff. No one goes in your room. Just giving her a whole spill. Just pretty much punking on her, you know? And I appreciated it because she needed to be punked on because she was doing way too much. And so I'm finishing up Gatorade's face and Gatorade's like, whole different person okay a whole different person now she's like feeling herself and she's just like oh like i, I want to do my makeup all the time now like i you got you teach any classes or anything like that like i feel so good like look at look at me like look at my eyebrows and she was really i'm not just saying because i did her makeup but she was really 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 pretty and like the makeup like really in her like she was gorgeous and i snatched her nose she was just beautiful like oh my god like super pretty and her cousin was trying to hate on her like you you look cute but you don't even look all that like you're one of the girls that doesn't need makeup like you're so pretty just naturally you know just trying to like be nice but at the same time like you low-key being shady like shut the fuck up you know what the hell you're doing like i hate that because y'all know i had a cousin like that too and i hate it when she did but like no don't get don't get contact you look so much better with your glasses fuck out of here doo doo like mm -mm. so I just stay quiet and I just, you know, I'm just minding because I'm like, ugh, it's so stupid that, you know, I don't want to have to tell like this little 15 and anything or get in their argument at the same time. Like if they want to, she want, like if Tuna wants to catch an attitude, like I wasn't talking to you, I don't get pissed. She's like, oh my God, I love it. And she's like acting up, having a little attitude. And she's like, you're just jealous. She's like, you're just jealous because I look, I look better than you. And you're right. I don't need makeup. Cause I look better with or without it and you do need makeup and so they're just like going you know talking shit going both at it and stuff and it just felt like they had like one of those like toxic you know cousinships so I just stay quiet and they both paid me they both paid me I was like okay thank you guys and I'm like packing up the kit and I noticed that Tuna she left she went to the room real quick she was like oh I have to go do something she went to the room real quick and then Gatorade's helping me and Gatorade's just like oh my gosh thank you so much like I really really appreciate it I feel so pretty I always feel like I'm the ugly one and I'm like well you're tripping like you are not ugly far from it you're gorgeous even if she was a little fat like what the hell like embrace it you're gorgeous you know what I mean Tuna goes to the room and even Gatorade notices she's like what the hell like why why she take so long why is she being rude she's like we can at least wait till like we can at least walk you out before she wants to go to her room you know and call her boyfriend and i'm like it's fine and like oh, i just had like a gut feeling like something fell off i was like something feels off and i was like nah but you got paid like you're good like something feels off and i was like going through my kit you know cleaning things down because i'm not just like i pack everything up and boom i'm gone like i'm ready i'm gone you know just in case something is missing i'm going through the kit and i'm like making a face because i'm like, what the fuck? like this is missing that is missing that's weird that's suspicious so i'm just like going through it i'm like what right away gatorade she makes this face of like like oh my god like she already knew <sighs> like oh my god like she just felt embarrassed you know her eyes are like all big she looks like she's gonna cry which i don't know why and so i'm like like looking around and I, I start talking a little bit loud and i'm like hey where did you see where like this could have been misplaced? i always try to be nice where this could have been misplaced because i'm giving you up the, the opportunity that if i did misplace it because i've had had people still shit and i say like hmm do you know if i misplace this just so that we can and even though i know that you're a little thief i'm gonna keep it you know and maybe you can be like, oh yeah, um, it's right here. It was in my pocket type shit. You know what I mean? And it's cool, whatever. I'm going to give you, I, I, I'm going to just say, if you had, did I misplace it? You know what I mean? Because maybe I misplaced it in your pocket. So her eyes get really big and I'm like, hey, do you know where, I think it was, it was a lipstick. It was a primer. And it was a lip liner. It was a MAC lip liner. I don't remember which one it was. I'll try to remember the name, but I remember everyone was like <sighs> hyped up about this lip liner. Like everybody had it, everybody and their mama had it. And I remember when I finally got it, cause it was always out of stock, I was so hyped. So I was, so it was a lip liner, a lipstick, 
primer and I don't remember what the what the other thing was, but it was it wasn't like like super big. What the heck was it? I want to say concealer. I want to say it was concealer because I keep thinking of like a score package. So like I had to have been concealer. And she's like, um, I don't know. You know what? You know what, Lex? Let me let me go let me go talk to um let me go talk to Tuna. And so I just make a face at her. And I was like, okay, so I know everything that I came in with, and if I don't leave out with it, then I'm gonna have to charge you guys. Whether you pay me, your mom pays me, your tia pays me. So go talk to who you need to, but I need it now. Like, I was just pissed because I was like, okay, like, we're not friends. We're not friends, and friends don't do that to each other, you know? So she goes into the room, and I hear, what the fuck? Like, just really, really loud. You know, they're getting kind of catty with each other, whatever. And then I just hear Gatorade just talking to her, and she's just like, dude, like, please don't do this. You know, and she's just, like, telling her, like, please, like, oh. Uh. And I can, I can hear her, so I'm like, so this little mucosa probably was always stealing and you know the other one she's probably just tired of it right so then she comes out and at this point like the mom's like asking me like those like you know those stuff in i was like yeah everything is okay i was like i just can't find this product this product this product this product and i was like you know showing her because like i go in with like a little list you know like okay you have this in your kit this in your kit and then if i'm at home and i take something out of my kit i make sure to like put like took out a kit you know what i mean because makeup is expensive you guys it is not cheap i have a lot of babies you know so the mom was like hmm one moment and i'm just like okay so she goes into the room too and i hear the door close and you can hear the mom is just like pissed like where is it at telling her and stuff and you can hear like i don't know and then you can hear gator like why did you come in here like that's just weird like why'd you come in here like it just makes you look really bad like even if she like wore to like misplaced it because remember i used the word misplaced it looks so bad because you came in here and so the girl's like oh so i can't come in my room i can't come in my room and so the mom tells her like go and give it to her si tienes and if you don't have it then I'll, you know, then I'll talk to her. She's like, but she said that she has a list. Like, you know, like, you know, she knows what she has in her kit. Like, see, if you, if you have it and that I could call the cops and stuff like that, even though I didn't say I wasn't going to call the cops or anything like that, you know, but the mom was like probably trying to scare her. Like, hey, like, this is not a game. And so remember the prima that came in with the dresses and stuff. So she's there and she's just eating and she's just like listening to the combo and she's like looking at me and she's like giving me a little smirk because she was probably like, we are in a hurry like we ain't got time for this who cares about your makeup because she kept saying oh my god the eyes just makeup and i was like if she say it a little louder i'm gonna tell her like it's not just makeup like this is money this is what feeds my kids you know so she has like a little adjective she keeps telling her like oh my god the eye like she said she doesn't have it you know she was like on her side you could tell that tuner tuner tuna tuner tuna and her tuna and her had a little like friendship you know like when you're just really cool with like one of your cousins or something they, you could tell like they kind of like that vibe you know and so and she says again like oh my god it's just makeup and so she says that i was like okay and if it's just fucking makeup then give me the fucking money for it because i don't got time for this you're in a hurry i'm in a hurry i gotta go i got another client that i'm gonna do makeup for so if it's just fucking makeup because she kept saying it and at this point i'm getting mad because i'm in a place where like I don't have like you know my grandpa brothers my security or anything like that and I didn't like how she was getting kind of rowdy and she was kind of doing like that thuggish like like getting mad and she just had that vibe of like I can kick ass you know what I mean and I didn't want people to think like oh I'm scared I don't care and I really hate when people try to like downplay like what you do like if it's nothing like okay if it's really nothing then how come you didn't do it or how come you didn't book it or you know and before she was like getting like stupid whatever she was complimenting the girls like oh like you look really nice like mm -hmm. i wish i knew how to do makeup whatever and so like if i didn't like how she was just you know switching her tune whatever just because tuna was getting in trouble because it seemed like everyone knew what tuna was like up to because how they kept telling her like oh my god like why like why do you do this you know because i could hear because the room the room the rooms were thin so i could hear her getting yelled at and i can hear her mom telling her like one to like counting down and stuff you know to that ass being so i was like mm -mm, mm -mm. and then i hear so i tell her that and she just looks at me and she just like 
Because again, most of the time, a lot of people are just fucking bark. Okay, they're just like little chihuahuas that they just like, meh, 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 meh. and I think like they can do that, like that loud tone shit where they can talk about you in the same room, but not like be direct with you, but they can talk about you. I hate that shit. I hate that. Because it's just like, if you have something to say, say it to me directly. Don't be a little bitch and be like, you know, talk about me while I'm in the room. I just turn the room. The house ain't that big, bitch. And tell me what you got to say, you know? So I say that and she just looks at me and she's like, oh, I ain't got time right now. Like, we got we got the party at three. I don't know what the big deal is. To me, it's just makeup, but to each their own. So I was like, I just stared at her. because I was like, okay, you know what? I don't care. So the mom comes out and she's just like, you know, fixing herself because she looks a little flustered. And I really like the mom, you guys. Mom's really cool. The mom still comments on my stuff and stuff. And I told her I was going to do this story time. And she was like, mija, stop being like, go ahead, do it. I don't care because I, I always tell my kids, like, this is lessons. Like, you better act right because you never know who you run into. So shout out to moms. So she comes out. She's a little flustered. And she's like fixing herself. And then she's like, um, just give her a little, uh, a little while. She's going to come back out. Uh, she's just having a little moment because I guess um, a little TMI, I guess she has to start her period, you know? So I was like, oh, okay. She's like, that. that's why she was in her room. She started her period. And she's like looking at me like, you know, she's just bullshitting. But just like, take what, take what I'm saying because this is embarrassing. You know what I mean? So at this time, like my kit, I already packed it all up. Mom asked me if I want more tea. And I'm like, no, no, thank you. Because at this time, I'm like, uh-uh. Like, what if y'all try to poison me or something? Because... What if you go into like mama bear mode? So I don't want to take anything from mom because I was like, oh my gosh, like what if she like poisons me or something? I don't know. You never know. People will be doing the craziest stuff over the littlest things, you know? And so cousin is still in the sala and she now goes into the room to like talk to her her cousin or whatever. She was a little bit older. So I want to say like she was a tia, right? She goes in the room. She's like talking to her. And you can tell she's like getting upset and stuff because she's like, then this bitch wants to sit here and tell me something and I ain't even talking to her. And I'm just like laughing and the mom can hear and the mom's like, mm, like she feels like uncomfortable, you know? And I hate that. Like I hate to be put in that situation. But at the end of the day, like, mm -mm. that little $15, $20 that you gave me is nothing compared to like what you just stole. So the mom's telling me and stuff like, what if they take? So I'm like telling her and stuff and I'm already writing it down, getting her little receipt ready. Because I'm like, here, because mm -mm, I'm not going to be here all day and miss another appointment. I miss an appointment just because like your little uncle someone to be like a little stiller and stuff, you know? So my mom's like telling me and stuff, like, is there any way to like get it down, a little discount and stuff? Like I can go to the party and like I can invite the kids. Like you, you my daughter was telling me you have a lot of kids, like you can invite the kids and we can get like a little comida for you. And so I felt kind of bad, but at the same time, like that's not my problem. You know what I mean? Like I love food. <sighs> But you can't bribe me with food. Like, I need the money. You know what I mean? Like, food ain't gonna feed the kids, right? Ain't gonna feed the bills. And I was like, no, está bien, gracias. You know, talking to her, like, thank you for the invite, but, like, no thank you. And so she's like, okay. And then she, like, you know, is getting mad and everything. And at this point, like, Rudy had called me, asked me, like, where I'm at and stuff. And, like, I think it was, like, Giovanni that was, like, fussy. And you can hear him crying. And that's, like, what set off her mama. Like, it set her mom off. Probably because she was just, like, she just got it. You know, like, you're over here doing my baby's makeup. And you got a kid at home. And my daughter really trying it, you know? So she hears Giovanni crying while I'm on the phone and stuff. I'm, like, playing to Rudy. I'm, like, yeah, like, I got one more appointment. Then I'll be home and stuff. Because I think Giovanni was sick at the time or something like that. Because he was, like, really, really fussy. And so I get off the phone. I got my kit, my legs are crossed, and I'm just like waiting. Like, I'm just literally waiting. I can hear the, the freaking primas in there, like screaming at her. Oh my god, I can hear Gatorade. Like, I'll help you look for it if you misplaced it. Like, keep saying it. Like, if you misplaced it, like, they really overusing the word misplaced. So I got the phone. Mom was like, Who is it? And I was like, Oh, like, it was my son. Like, he's a little bit fussy and everything. She's like, Um, but she's like, Oh, so you got like two hours, three hours left until you go home. I was like, Yeah. And I'm like, hopefully it'll be fast and stuff. And like, there's no um, complications or anything. I'm like, hopefully there's like no interruptions, any complications, you know. And she's like, mm, uh, are you running a little late for the, another, the next appointment? I was like, yeah, just a little bit. Like, I'm just trying to get my stuff. Like, I just need to go. And so she was, um, you know, just talking about like the kids and stuff. Like, how many? And I was telling her. I was like, yeah. And then I got my brothers. And she was like, and your brothers come in? I was like, my brothers? Like, mm, it's just a lot. And so... I, where the conversation just felt like genuine you know it just felt genuine like she was really asking and she was like 
you know, I had to take care of all my siblings. Like, I come from 11 kids. I'm like, damn, girl, that's crazy. Like, I'm so glad that my mom didn't have that many because I probably would have had to watch them all. And we're just, like, talking, you know. And at this point, I didn't even notice that she shared me. She, you know, served me, like, another cup of tea. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's crazy. Like, sipping on it, talking to her. And then as soon as, like, I noticed, like, I'm drinking more tea, I was like, oh, my God. Like, right away, I just started getting, like, bubble guts. I was like, oh, my God, please don't kill me. <laughs> please don't kill me, you know. And um, she's like, so I scared, you know you know what i was like what she's like give me a minute i was like okay okay ma'am i will because she was just nice right so she goes in there and she closes the door and all i hear is just like hard i'm like she whooped her ass like she whooped her ass i didn't hear no crying though you know it was just she probably just took it you know She's like, if you don't find it, she's going to come in here and she's going to look for it. I'm going to let her look for it. She's going to go through everything. So, come back out with her stuff or else, you know? And so she's like, she can't come in my room. I'm going to tell that. She's like, tell your father. You think your father isn't going to be embarrassed of this? Like, you have, like, you know, telling her and stuff. Like, she keeps it up. She's not going to the cantina either. She's like, I didn't just pay her to do my makeup. She's like, you paid her, but then you took um you know you took from her you stole from her and so she's like i didn't take anything and she's like i don't know how you how you're gonna do it but find it you know she's like i'm giving you five more minutes and i'm gonna let her come in here and then she comes out she leaves the door open and me and tuna are just looking at each other and i'm just like i shake my head i don't care i shake my head because i'm like really like that's what you do and gatorade comes out and she's like I'm so sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, this is so embarrassing. This is so ghetto. I'm so sorry. She's like, here. And she gives me a little tip, you know. She's like, I know it's not a lot. But here, like, I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Little $5. And I was like, oh, it's okay. Thank you, sweetie. You know, she was just really, really sweet. And she's like, I'm just so embarrassed. Like, I'm going to get going. Um, I hope you find it. I hope you find what's misplaced. And I'm like, thank you. So she leaves. And as she leaves, I'm like, she better not. I gave her cousin what the fuck she stole, you know? And as soon as she's walking out, um, she has like a bag and I look at the bag. She's like, you want to look at, she's like, you want to look in it? Like, I don't have anything. And I was like, you know what? Yeah. Like, I, you know what? I didn't even feel bad. I was like, you know what? Yeah. So she opens her bag and she like, didn't have anything at all. And she's like, you can check me. She's like doing everything. And I was like, okay, you know? And so she leaves and then her her tia you know is like bye mija i'll see you later she's like maybe without her if, if we can't find the things that she misplaced and i'm like laughing because it's just funny at this point like y'all you're all y'all are real funny maybe i will go to the quinceanera and have a little plate or something you know some comida with the babies and so she's like yelling at her like did you find it she's like i'm looking you know and i'm like damn man you 15 and you over here really doing the most over some makeup like Mm -mm. like if it was now i probably would have been like you know what just keep it okay bye whatever because it's just like i'm not bragging but it's just because it's just like okay like here but i'm telling you guys times were hard because i know someone's gonna be like why didn't you just let her have it legs like obviously she just liked it 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 was because you guys i needed it okay like i really needed it that's how i made my money you know so she's like i'm looking for it she's like so you admit it you have it she was like, I was just taking pictures with it. I just wanted to see if, you know, it fit. I don't know where I put it. She's And then she's like, maybe Gatorade took it when she left. I was like, no, I went through her purse, her little book pack. She don't have it. She's like, maybe she has it in her back pocket. I was like, mm. She did the whole 360 and she's just like looking at us and she's like, wow. She's like, oh, you know what? I really thought you were cool. I really did. And I'm like, okay, I still am, but go off, you know, whatever. Because I hate when kids like talk. This is really pretty. This blush is really pretty. Like, it looks airbrushed. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Like, you're doing the most. You're trying to hurt my feelings? I don't care. I really don't. You're not hurting my feelings. You're pissing me off. So, she's, like, looking for it. And the mom is, um, you know, I keep noticing the time stuff. And I keep looking because I'm like, damn it. I gotta go. Like, I gotta go. At this point, I'm just gonna probably just chalk it up as a loss. It's my bad at the end of the day, probably. So, it is what it is. The mom is already getting out her wallet cousin the other cousin thea whatever sees that the mom is getting out her wallet whatever and me i'm all you know i don't care because i'm like okay like uh-uh and so the mom was like uh, you know getting ready to give me like a good 60 and the cousin thea whatever that's on the couch remember she want to get a little rowdy with me and shit she sees that she's giving me money she's like 
no manches tia. she's like for real and she was like she said she can't find she can't miss playing she's like you know like this lady's over here come, came came over she has kids at home she's like you know like how how would you guys feel if i didn't get the money for the tamales that i cook how would you guys feel if this and she was like you know like schooling her and i was like yes mom tell them because it's true like how what the hell what are you doing so the cousin shot up went into the room and she just starts moving shit just moving shit doing the whole trying to find everything she literally grabbed the girl and like put her and was like going through her pockets going through everything she's like stop you know like doing the most and it might be like oh my god that's a lot but no she was just like pissed because she's like you're gonna have my tia pay for something she's like like you know you're lucky she don't call the cops like so now like we're on the same team like it ain't cool so she's like doing all of it whatever she lifts up her mattress and then boom all four products are right there and she did that stupid face like i don't even know how i got there <laughs> like so stupid i'm just like dude you are so annoying so the cousin comes back out prima whatever i keep saying cousin prima because she was a little bit older and like you know just to, just to be respectful i've always like called like my tias my cousins who are older than me tias because <gasps> this is pretty oh i'm like want to look like the rihanna one the cousin prima whatever snags the stuff comes out and she like she's like breathing a little bit heavy you know like damn that was a workout and i'm just looking at her and then she's like you know what my bad like my tia's right like this is your hustle i i wouldn't like like it if someone disrespected her because some people have you know been acting up and they want to eat her food and then be like oh it wasn't even all that and not want to pay her i totally get it i'm sorry and then she's like, for a minute, I didn't even think that she really took it. She's like, I thought that you were just doing the most and you were just trying to come up with some money. And I'm like, mm -mm. no, like no one got time for that. I ain't about that life. So she's like, you want, like, is, do you want me to clean it? Like, is there anything? she's like, I'm pretty sure like, you know, she don't got cooties or anything. Hold on. Look at this one. I hate when I do my makeup when I have like a headband because I want to leave my headbands on. Oh, for those who were asking about like my previous headbands, like where I got, I get them from, I get them from Shop Miss A. The only one that I did not get from Shop Miss A was my brown one. That one I got at Generation Beauty. That one, I don't know where I can get that one because that one is so good. You guys, it's so thick. If I, I'm going to Google and see if I can find like headband bear, bear headband. And if I could find it, I'll link it for you. But the other ones are from Shop Miss A. Only a dollar. And they're so cute. This one benefit sent it to me. But um, yeah, I don't know. Is it just me? When you have like a headband and you do your makeup, you just want to leave the headband on? That's what I'm probably going to do. All right. So anyways, anyways, she was like, you want me to clean or anything like that? I was like, no, it's good. So the girl's just crying in the room. She feels embarrassed and stuff. And she's like, I can't believe you did that, ma. And so I don't want to be that one. Oh, so I was like putting everything away and I noticed like one of my brushes is missing and I like to put labels on my brushes and my products. So I was like, oh, one of the brushes is missing también. And I'm like, I'm not even trying to like be annoying or anything like that, but that one is expensive. And so she was like, no, like it's cool. Like, let me go find it. And so she's like going through the stuff and like this little girl, cause at this time she wanna act like a little girl, that's what she is. She has her own little set of brushes. And so I don't know what she thought. I don't know if she didn't see the name or she probably thought like she didn't know my name or something or she just thought like oh this name brand or something i don't know but she had it with her brushes you know like in the middle like this and so like the uh cousin thea comes out and she was like you know and right away i just knew it and i just picked it because i'm like i know like you know your stuff you know i pick it and the girl's like that's not yours that's mine like oh my god like now, now she's just she's just doing the most and she's just trying to take everything of mine and i'm like it has my name on it like, it has, it has my name on it. And so she just, you know, she's just like... And then so her, her cousin, Prima, is like, really? Like, just shut the fuck up. Like, you're embarrassing. Like, yelling at her and stuff. She's like, how are you guys telling her something that's not hers? She's like, leave me, leave me, leave me right now. Like, tell me how. You know, she's like yelling at her. And then as I'm putting away the products and stuff, one of them is a lipstick. She's like, that's my lipstick, mom. Oh, hold on. And then the cousin just looks at her. She's like, just shut the like she was just annoyed and the mom's like yeah i already like you're not going like i don't care if you pay for your, your makeup like you're not going like it's so embarrassing like just shut up like you know just shut up i'm going to shut up and then the little girl's just like talking smack she's like i don't even like the makeup and she's like yeah god get this she's like shut up and it was just funny but it was just funny i felt so i was like laughing inside and low-key the prima cousin was laughing too when i was like when it was a lipstick like girl don't, don't, don't. and then sometimes i would just put it under here so I would just put like AJ 
even though I don't like being called AJ, I would just, you know, grab the label, put it right there. So if anyone's like, uh-uh, like it doesn't say your name on the out, right there. But for sure, I would put the names on the brushes or I would even like dip them sometimes, like in paint or something. So like the tip would be different. I just try to do different things to my products. So like if anyone's like, uh-uh, I have the same thing. That's like, you do this, you do this, you do this weird thing. Or like wrap tape around it you know just a bunch of different stuff because there's like a lot of people who do different things but mom was cool she was like i'm so sorry she gave me the address to the quinceanera and stuff she's like please go like you know bring all the kids i was like i got a lot of kids like when people invite me and stuff because i don't just got one two whatever i got a lot she was like no it's fine like i come from like a lot of like you know siblings like i understand like come get a plate please and i was like i don't know and then the daughter you know because like at this point me and my mom were like best friends and stuff and like being my two like we we're just talking and everything she was just like i'm so, so oh and at this point i already had missed my appointment right for the other girl i was like heck late and i was like texting her and stuff because of all this mess and so the three one was like dude like i'm so sorry like you know i just don't make up for it like can i can i book you to do my girlfriend's makeup and i was like oh yeah for sure she's like we'll pay a little bit extra and i was like thanks like thank you very much you know i appreciated it it was cool like after like we were cool so yeah that was my little story time it was a really really bad and rocky but then i feel like it had a really good you know outcome so i would just highly recommend that when you're gonna do anyone's makeup like my little list it came in handy i don't even know where my list is now but it came in handy just to know what, like, what you have lesson learned of like having my back turned so like every time she was going like that she was probably picking something up you know what I mean? So that's why I thought. Like I kept thinking, like how, how the little the little shit never apologized, but it's okay. I I see her from time to time on her mom's timeline, and just to be petty, I go and heart the picture, you know. And her mom laughs at her sometimes. Like me and her mama laugh. She's cool. I didn't tell you what what I didn't tell you the story time of why I went on to a whole different of like why the labels helped me out. Like I'm so stupid. So I'm gonna just do a quick. I'm gonna just do another quick story time. That's my story time on that one. Me and mom are cool. Mom approved of the video, so. So, all right. One time I went to go do somebody's makeup, okay? Girl was really, really nice. She had her little friend, her little cousin, whatever with her. I was doing her makeup. Things were going good. I was getting down. I was like, oh yeah. Like she told me like, do whatever you want. She didn't care. She was really happy. She loved everything. I, I was really into like bold lashes like back in the day. I still like a bold lash, but like back in the day it was like really intense and not that many people were into bold lashes, you know? People were barely dipping like their tippy toes into like bold lashes. I feel like now some people be flying away with their lashes, but it's like, damn, that's crazy. Back in the day, not as much. So when she had like bold lashes, I was like, oh my God. You know, I was just like, you know, really excited doing her makeup and everything. And she was just, she was a nice person but it's like she had like a hidden agenda behind her niceness you know she kept complimenting me like oh you're so pretty like you're you know, like you know you don't you don't really need makeup and stuff i was like oh thank you because like i don't like to go full beat when i'm doing a client's makeup because i feel like sometimes when you do when you do that they're like hmm they might not like something on your face or they'll be like mm, how come your makeup looks prettier than mine or i don't know it's just I want you to be the center of attention. The day is about you, not me. You, not me. So I want you just to focus. And if anything, you seeing like all my like my like crustiness and stuff, you might even feel better. You know what I mean? So she was like I'm trying to compliment me. I'm like doing her makeup and stuff. There's like a I have certain brushes that like I rock hard with, and I'm like oh my god, this is like my forever brush. I have brushes like when I first started out, and like I still have. Well, and this brush in particular, it was a Sigma brush. And I didn't go crazy with Sigma brushes. It was my only Sigma brush. My only, only Sigma brush. That was the only one I got. It was in collaboration with somebody. And I could only get one, okay? It was just one. So, she kept complimenting it. And I was like, oh, like, thank you, like, very much and stuff. Like, yeah, like, I had a little money, so I went a little crazy. She was like, dang, like, that's so nice. Like, you know, I like brushes too. And we were just talking you know she was just complimenting me i was like thank you she was telling me like i like how you keep everything clean like i got my makeup done by another girl and she like all her palettes were dirty or she like had really put them to use so i was like yeah like i don't really like that like and like i don't again i don't like talking bad about other artists and stuff but i really don't like that where it's like like this one looks a little dusty but like where it's just like they just went in with the brush and they're just like 
you know, I don't like that because I feel like ugh, it, even though it might still be sanitary and clean, it just doesn't look eye pleasing, you know. And so we already re are already done. Like I don't need any need to use a Sigma brush anymore. And so now I'm moving on to like other stuff and I'm like, okay, like, I don't know. It just sucks that like you always have to be on your A game when you are a makeup artist or when you're like a stylist and anything in general, anything in general when it comes to your job, be on it 100%. Don't ever get comfortable. I could do a full video multiple videos on you know me being a makeup artist and stuff because you literally have to be on your a game not everyone is your friend and i've had to learn that the hard way just because like i'm so desperate for like friendship and i say that with like no embarrassment like i am me not as much now you know but before yeah and that's just because like i had nobody you know what i mean so like anytime anyone like give me a little bit of attention me como pendeja i was like oh my god they want to be like my best friend like literally you know what i mean i got too comfortable don't ever get comfortable ever because you always got to be like on your toes get comfortable like around like people that you love that you know you can like gen like genuinely trust but don't ever get comfortable around people that you don't even know and like there might be some people you know rare rare people who like won't do you dirty won't do you grimy and it's like oh my god like so that's pretty deep for a brush but not nah, i'm talking about like in general like don't ever get comfortable because that's when people just get right under your feet because they're waiting they're waiting like just because someone doesn't do something and stab you in the back like that right there and then they could be fucking planning on this shit for months for years on your downfall so stay on your game don't get fucking comfortable don't because you will get burned you will get burned and you will get burned and you will get burned so with everything that has happened in my life, I always take it as a lesson. Do I cry? Yes. Am I sad? Yes. Do I complain? Yes. But at the end of the day, I thank God and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's a lesson. It's corny as you will be like, oh my God, this is like, no, it's corny. Mm -mm. It's a lesson. It's a lesson and I'm taking the lesson and now I learn from it. Anyways, so I'm like doing her makeup. We're done with the brushes and she's wearing like a long sleeve robe, long sleeve robe. And then out of nowhere... I just see it go missing like I just see it go missing and I just notice it. and I don't say anything because like I really try to avoid confrontation because I could be a mean bitch so I'm just like right away I'm like okay she snuck it like she snuck it under you know how people like just sneak shit like under their their shirts I'm like she snuck it and so like I ask her after a while because like now it's just getting weird because like we were just like and then it just gets really weird where we stop talking and it's not as like I'm gonna call her Courtney, cause Courtney just sounds funny. Where's the brush, Courtney? Courtney, where's the Sigma brush? Where's my brush? So I wish I had another hand, cause that's funny. But anyways, I was like, "Where's the brush, Courtney?" And she was like, "What are you talking about?" I was like, "Yeah, the one that we were just talking about." She's like, "What do you mean? Like what one? Like we, we we've been talking about a lot of stuff." I was like, "We we, we have not." so where's the brush because i was like uh-uh i'm so tired and like you're so grown to be doing like some petty kid shit and she was older than me she was like in her 30s at the time i'm like like super young you know well not like super super young but i'm like early 20s like early 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 20s and you're gonna sit here and act like um you're like not your age so you're gonna I, i'm more mature than you right now like i know age doesn't define like who's maturity but i'm just saying y'all i was pissed I, was, I went from zero to 100 like i ain't got no time she was like i don't i don't know what you're talking about and she's holding on real tight to like the end of her her robe like this okay so she's like this i don't know where you're, i don't and this was just free i don't i don't know where you're where you're talking about i was like you know what I'm talking about. We were just, can I see your hand? I don't know where you gotta, and you can see that when she's like, you know, you can, you can, she, she dropped it and you hear it on the floor like, and I look down and I go and pick it up. And then she's like, that one's mine. She's like, I have makeup too. Cause she did have a little makeup on the table and stuff like what she wanted me to use and stuff, but we didn't use any of it, but it didn't have no brushes. So I'm like, so I snag it up and she's like, that's mine. I was like, no, it's not. She's like, yes, it is. I'm like, no, it's not. She's like, you see there, that little scratch right there? Because like there was like a little scratch. I freaking. <sighs> so I didn't have my name on that at the time. And so she's like, you see that little scratch right there? Like, that's mine. Like, that's when like um, my dog picked it up and he walked with it over there. And I was like, no. I was like, you know what? My services here are done. Thank you. 
for your time but i am done she's like no you're not she's like i'm not i was like uh-uh like i don't not all money is good money okay no no no. i was like i'm done we still had like her eyes to finish and stuff because like she already had the lashes on but like it just like wasn't like fully complete the pattern was like still setting on her face and she still like she just looked like honestly like it was like a full look already all she had to do was like a little bit of touch-ups and stuff but uh i was like no like i'm done she was like well i'm not paying you know i was like it's okay like not all money's good money whatever she's like over a brush like are you serious she's like i know a lot of people i was like and i don't give a shit like i really don't care like, i don't like it when people try to threaten you they're like oh like you don't know who i know you don't know who i know so be careful tread lightly bitch i'm gonna run it i don't give a fuck i don't care so i was like i don't care so i'm packing up everything and i'm like mad and stuff because i'm like mm -mm. like it's too much like it's too much like you're crazy you're disrespectful you're ugly she was like you know what you're right i'm sorry i just really liked it i apologize alexis can you please just finish can you please just finish and like, at this time her eyelashes going a little wonky you know and so i already have everything packed up and i mean like everything packed up and so i just looked at her i was like um i can only fix your lash but like i'm gonna be going and maybe i'll take off some of the setting powder like pretty long finish the look right and so I go and I take off her lash. I'm like, I'm going to fix it. I was like, might as well fix the other one. So I took off both her lashes. I already have packed everything right and I put them there. And I go in. Like I have like a little sponge left over, but I'm grabbing. Oh, here. I have like a, one of those disposable sponges, you know. And so I just go in and start tapping like I'm doing something. <clears throat> My services are complete. Thank you for your time. Let who you know, whoever you want to know what happened today that's fine you have your encounter and i have mine and i just grab my my train case and i just walk out and she's like my fucking lashes you're not gonna put my fucking lashes back on i was like no she's like alexis i don't have any glue like alexis i have to. i was like i don't care i gotta go and so i leave i leave i don't care was it petty yes it was very petty it was one of my one of my very most pettiest moments ever but you guys i really did not care i really did not care you we were talking she was complimenting and at that point i was just like dang i'm so tired of everyone trying to get one over me because i am too nice like i'm too nice and in my story time a lot of people were like alexis like she was hecka gaslighting you like why did you continue to talk to her what stone right if you haven't watched it i'll leave it here for those who have watched it it's really hard for me to cut people off like extremely hard like very very hard so if you have ever been cut off in my life a lot of people who know me are like damn what did you do like you must have really pissed her off because it takes a lot for like to cut people off like a lot a lot it's just i don't know it's something that i deal with when i talk to my therapist and stuff like i don't know why like i like i know like i have toxic people in my life but i don't know how just to like i'm working at it though i'm working at it baby step baby step baby steps but i did have my moments of like uh-uh and you know zero 200 real quick so i was already at one of those points where i'm like dude like i'm so tired of it like i'm so tired of people like punking on me because like i'm a young mom people punking on me because like you know i look like naive whatever punking on me because like they know like i just gotta compliment her and like she's gonna think that like i'm her best friend type you know what i mean so like i didn't care i left and that was that and I did get more clients, people who have like, you know, that were friends with her. We had like mutual friends because you can see like on Facebook, like, oh, you're mutual friends with this person. I would do their makeup, tag them. And she would go and like, you know, she didn't go and bash or anything like that because I'm pretty sure if she were to tell a story, she know I would tell mine, you know. And the past people have asked like, oh, I heard so-and-so, they said that you did this. And like, I was like, oh no, like this is what happened. I have no problem explaining the situation, you know. And if I was wrong, I was wrong. But in this situation, I did not think I was wrong at all, at all. Was I mean for taking off her lashes and just leaving her there? Like, you know? No, I was not wrong. I honestly was like pissed because we had just talked about like how expensive the brush was. We had just talked about, and she, it doesn't matter. Like her, like me having so many kids, like it doesn't matter. That's none of anyone's business of to feel like guilty for me or anything like that. But if we're sitting there and we're talking about you know things and you want to sit there and be like yeah like people use me all the time because like i'm very successful and like i'm like i'm in my 30s and i already got like a house already got a car and, like everyone else like they're just trying to catch up and like if you're over here like you know saying the most and being a bitch and like saying like you have this and you have that and people are like jealous of you and you have money you have money like you keep bringing it up and then for you to like do some petty shit and like steal my sigma brush like what's wrong with you what's wrong with you who raised you you know so that was the story you guys that was like a quick wrap i feel like there were so many details like you know the friendships how things were set up not the friendship but like just like the combo and all that and then tambien like i wasn't doing my makeup so it was like pretty short you know 
but that was the story time so you guys got two uh, something's pinching me ah uh, uh. um so that was the story time you guys got two story times in one because i'm gonna skip it and i think what threw me off is where i already had this one labeled and so i, I brought up the story of like when i had to tell girl like you know that was funny stupid was stupid but it's like bonus because i feel like i didn't post a lot this week you guys i feel like i was super busy this week like super busy so i really apologize for that that's my bad I apologize with all my heart but i love you guys i miss you guys so much i uh, i read all you guys' comments i promise none of it goes unseen i love you guys and thank you guys so much for sharing your guys' stories i really appreciate you guys and thank you guys so much for tuning in so i hope you guys enjoyed today's story times if you guys did please make sure to give me a big thumbs up it really helps out and subscribe if you haven't already to keep up with my videos make sure you guys turn on the notification bell so you guys are notified every time i do post a video and so you can possibly be the next video shout outs i love you guys so much i love you guys with all my heart thank you guys for everything that you guys do i appreciate you guys so much to get a much you guys and i'll see you guys in my next video bye